Y'all all right? I wrote this next song about a young lady came into my life as a matter of fact she did it twice but the last time I knew that is where she was supposed to be it was meant to be and I called the girl Miss Kitty and I'll tell you why I did get to see the world and the one little bit I do see but uh the thing is if the crowd make enough noise I'll know where I'm at so I don't really thank you so much traveling from town to town from city to city what inspired me to write this song, sometimes the airlines and the, the things don't work. They have to cancel the flights because of the weather. And when you're doing that, you find yourself living out of a suitcase. So I wrote this song for all the traveling people all over the world.
Thank you. That's where the medicine woman lives. And I'm looking for my medicine girl. Medicine woman, have pity on your man. Medicine woman, I know you understand. You see, got a deep need that only you can feel. It don't come, it don't bother, it won't come, it don't kill. Medicine woman. Medicine woman, have mercy on my soul. Please, don't you deny me. Don't you be so Medicine woman Girl, you got that healing touch Ain't nothing better You know just how to Fix me up I can't get it on the corner Can't get it in the store But every time I get it I won't
Y'all all right? Man, I love it. I, I love the sound of a, I love the sound of a, a rowdy crowd. That, that just gets me get my party on. And this next song, what made me write this song, a friend of mine had gotten really ill and he couldn't, uh, he wound up going to the nursing facility. And uh, he went to the nursing facility to learn how to walk again because he had a, a slight stroke. And I was out on the road and when I went to see him, his face lit up and a smile was everywhere and, it, and uh, the nurse told me, he said, he hadn't smiled since he's been in here. He said, so whatever you brought, you say, you need to come back and see about him and give him some. He's been in here and he hasn't smiled until we told him you was coming through that door. So it kind of touched my heart and I, I went in and I, I talked to him a minute and then I went outside in the hallway and I began to talk to a lot of more elderly people and they began to tell me you can come on fellas they began to tell me some of them their stories and I thought it would be my duty to write this song it's called Nobody Wants to Be Lonely <laughs>
Thank you. to teach him to the elderly loved ones because it's the only way you're going to keep from getting old you're going to have to die young so let's look out for the elderly for my room for one more night and uh I ain't got but one bed baby but it's a great old big one so that means if you lonely and I'm lonely we can be happy together you got it
Thank you. You know, there comes a time in, uh, in everybody's life, if, and most of you guys are, are, are well old enough to uh, understand what I'm saying when I say you've been there and done that too. In other words, sometimes, it, not with everybody, but sometimes you get a situation, a love affair where you say enough is enough. See, if you try all you can to make a relationship work and your partner could care less, then sooner or later you're going to have to just face the reality and tell them you sold out on them. had to do that. So loud on you. Sad, but it's true. After all we've been through, I'm so loud on you. Cause you put me to hell. You got me under your spell. No matter so much.
All right. Now here we go. Something I, I'm gonna let y'all know. One thing about Robert Finley, I tell the truth, even if it get me in trouble. Cause I'm not gonna. One thing I'm not gonna go to hell for telling a lie. I'll tell the truth, even if it get me in trouble. So here's the deal. I've been out on the road all the time. I travel. I spend more time. Probably uh, lately I've been spending more time in Europe than I have been in, in America. But I ain't crazy. I know when something ain't right. And somebody told me, and I got a chance to see it for myself. My baby, the one I love so much, had been sneaking around.
if you don't remember nothing else that I said for the entire 60 minutes, focus on what I'm about to tell you now. Life is too short to put off for tomorrow what you can do today. So my motto is, whatever you're dreaming about, take it when you can get it, and get it while you can. And we love you and we out of here. And get it while you can.